The Shape Game by Anthony Brown. I was a little boy and didn't know what to expect. It was my mother's idea that year for her birthday, she wanted us all to go somewhere different. It turned out to be a day that changed my life forever. Dad, Mom, George, and me. We went on a train to the city and then had a long walk. There was an important match on the telly, so I knew Dad and George didn't really want to come. George spent most of the time trying to train me up, and Dad told us some of his jokes. Why do gorillas have huge nostrils? I don't know, said George. Because they've got huge fingers, <laughs> said Dad. All his jokes were like that. When he got there, the place looked really posh. I felt a bit nervous, and even George and Dad were quiet at first. What on earth is that supposed to be? Asked Dad. It's supposed to be a mother and child, said Mom. Well, why isn't it? Said Dad. Mom took us into a large room that was full of old painting. Boring, said George, and Dad told him to shut up. I thought it looked boring too, but I wasn't sure. George leaned against the picture. One of the guards came, and told him off. So Dad told him off too. It wasn't a very good start to the visit, especially for George. Dad tried to cheer him up. Did you hear about the fool who keeps going round saying no? No, George mumbled. Oh, so it's you then? Ha ha ha! Dad said, laughing. Georgie wandered away. Mom talked to us about the painting of a family. Does it remind you of a family we know? Asked Mom, but she was smiling. She said that the father was holding a love letter written to his wife by another man, and that there were lots of clues in the picture that told us more of the story. So we all worked it out. It's gone, gone forever. I tell you," said Dad. "What path?" I asked. "Yesterday," said Dad. "Those two are just the same," I said. "Well, not exactly," said Mom. "Look more closely." Spot the difference. These pictures are not the same. How many differences can you see? Maybe ten. Wow. In the next room, Joji called. Hey, look at this! It's great. Do you think so? Said Mom. Can you imagine that really happening in our street? Does that remind you of anything? Asked Mom. It reminds me of Dad telling us one of his jokes. I said. So there are two sausages sizzling in a pan. One sausage looks at the other and says, "Pew! It's hot in here." And the other one says, "Oh no! It's a talking sausage." Now that's what I call a painting," said Dad. "Look at that lion! It's so real." And it was. Did you hear about the little boy they named after his father? 
ask dad? No. I said. They called him dad. Ha ha ha! Said dad. There was a loud silence, but we all started laughing when he saw a painting of a man who looked a bit like dad. It was time to go, and on the way out, we called in at the gift shop. All we bought were this. We walked back to get the train, and everyone was in a good mood. When we go to the station, Dad asked, "What did Batman say to Robin before they got in the car?" "Oh, all right, Dan," said Mom. "What did Batman say to Robin before he got in the car?" Robin, got in the car," replied Dad. "Come on, boys," said Mom. "Get in the train." On the way home, Mom showed us a brilliant drawing game that she used to play with her dad. The first person drew a shape, any shape. It's not supposed to be anything; just a shape. The next person has to change it into something. It's fantastic. We all played it for the rest of the journey, and in a way, I've been playing this shape game ever since. <laughs>